All right. Hello, Facebook. It's uh, Crystal and Brent here, my husband. Uh, we're just uh, going to get started in a couple seconds here, just uh, trying to do something different. Thanks for the feedback from our last video. It's been a couple of weeks and just wanted to continue our uh, series of, uh, I just called it interview with a pharmacist because my husband here is a pharmacist and I am an optometrist. So we both have a medical background and wanted to give everybody a little bit more of a, uh, the medical background on um, our supplements. So we did sleep a couple of weeks ago, our sleep supplement, and now we're doing our energy supplement. Um, so yeah, a couple of things we wanted to go over. Um, let's see, and definitely ask questions throughout and we will answer, try and answer as many as we can at the end of, uh, of what we're gonna go over. So hopefully we'll answer a few of them beforehand. So uh, first off, a lot of you know that it's, you know, energy supplements, energy drinks are a huge industry, you know, with Rockstar, Monster, and Red Bull. So um, what makes our supplement different and uh, why, well, and why? Why take that one instead of Red Bull or Energy or Monster? So um, first of all, I wanted to ask you, <laughs> sweetie, <laughs> what uh, what is harmful, uh, what, what's wrong with ro the other drinks in the market today, like Rockstar, Monster, and Red Bull? Um, most of them have a ton of sugar, so all of them can actually increase the risk of type 2 diabetes. Mm -hmm. uh, also, they can increase blood pressure, being that they have a ton of caffeine in them with no kind of helper to decrease that amount of increase in blood pressure. Um, then they, the two, uh, Rockstar and Monster, also might increase the risk of niacin, uh, of niacin overdose, and that kind of causes almost like a hot flash, um, sweating, uh, just intense heat, uh, redness on the skin. It can be pretty dangerous. Um, it affects the liver and a bunch of other bad things, but that's with uh, Monster and Rockstar. Okay. And then Red Bull has... Red, Red Bull doesn't have that. Oh, it doesn't have it. Okay. Mm -hmm. But they all, um, yeah, not, I mean, yeah, because of the sugar content, you know, diabetes is one of the <coughs> biggest, you know, costs on uh, the, you know, the government costs, basically. Um, one out of every $10 spent in uh, in medicine is on diabetes medications. So, um, and that's just one of the three the, that causes, you know, metabolic syndrome, you know, with along with uh, high blood pressure and um, high cholesterol. So, you know, any one of those, starting with any one of those, basically puts you at more risk on um, getting the other two. So definitely want to um, cut back on that risk. So let's go into the ingredients of our energy drink or energy supplement. So guarana is one of the uh, ingredients. Um, it is a source of caffeine. And can you talk a little bit more about that one? Um, yeah, it's one of the natural sources of caffeine. Yeah. It also is uh, can be used as a weight loss supplement. So mm -hmm. that's mostly with that one. There's not a ton of side effects if used appropriately. So yeah, that one's pretty easy. Natural source of caffeine. Uh, it's a pretty good one. Uh, next one is green tea, another source of, of caffeine. It's a natural, both natural sources. And let's go over that one a little bit more then. Yeah, so green tea, obviously very, very popular, especially in Asian cultures. They typically drink green tea instead of coffee. Um, they have a ton of antioxidants helping prevent uh, and decrease the risk of certain types of cancers. Um, they also stabilize uh, blood flow. So they decrease hypertension or high blood pressure, and they can also help increase hypotension or too low of blood pressure. Um, so it just helps stabilize. Um, it also decreases the total cholesterol, um, the bad cholesterol, LDL, and triglycerides as well, while improving uh, HDL. So it just helps the entire cholesterol profile. There is one weird interaction um, with one of the drugs. Um, it's called Corgard or Natalol, and that's a heart medication. So green tea does affect that one specific drug, but pretty much nothing else that I could find. Yeah, people are taking caffeine anyway. I mean, they're probably drinking coffee a lot and still taking Natalol. So it's just, 
it just, doesn't you work. You just that. gotta be careful. Yeah, it doesn't work it that way. No, yeah. Um, so it can still just, be okay. But. No, not with green okay. tea. <laughs> okay, well, be careful if you're on Adderall. Um, there's not many people are anymore. I haven't seen anybody with that in a while. Uh, what about, let's go over maca root. That's one of the uh, adaptogens. Let's go over that one. So that one um, helps prevent, um, in, well, helps protect against certain types of cancers. It also helps as an antidepressant, anti-stress agent. Um, this was one of those that improves libido. And this one also helps with um, muscle recovery as well. So maca root is a pretty potent ap adaptogen. Um, uh, contains some iron, some calcium, copper, some yeah. other vitamins and mineral, trace minerals as well. So vitamins and minerals and just that one ingredient. And it helps stabilize muscle. So using it as a pre-workout, it's going to help with your muscle recovery, you know, before. And then there's another supplement that we take to help with um, afterwards that we'll talk about in another video. Um, but yeah, that's amazing. That has antioxidant or uh, antidepressant effects. So it can help with, yeah everything pretty much. Let's go over rhodiola rosea. So that one's a pretty cool one. It's another adaptogen. Um, it also can help decrease blood pressure, which is really cool. Really great. Um, I, what? Okay, here's a question that I get a lot and you probably would, uh, a lot of people would want to know is how many other energy drinks or energy supplements out there reduce blood pressure? None. Yeah, They're just this is none. Only one. So <laughs> our supplement does. Pretty crazy. Um, and it's a rhodiola in there. Yeah. And it acts like mm -hmm. one of the blood pressure medications that are really common uh, prescription wise, but they actually help decrease blood pressure, which is the only supplement that I know of to actually make that happen. So it acts like an, you said an ACE inhibitor. So you mm -hmm. told me. Okay. That's pretty cool. It's also, you're saying oh, this is neuroprotective. And uh, so it helps protect the brain. It protects your liver as well. There's no other nature drinks that do, do that either. Um, no. They usually help uh, cause more issues, you know, with the, the kidneys. So. And as an adaptogen, it also is an antibacterial, antiviral, antitoxin, cancer. Um, diabet it also helps with um, diabetes and obesity. Um, it's anti-inflammatory, anti-anxiety, depression, and fatigue. I mean, there's not a whole lot that this product doesn't help protect um, your body against. And that's just one of the ingredients. Most of them have those. Wow, that's that's pretty amazing with that one. And then last but not least, we have the Hesperidin. That one helps with anti-aging and so much more. And uh, oh, we'll go into bioavailability too. Um, yeah, go ahead and go over that, babe. <laughs> Which one? The hispiridin? <laughs> hispiridin. Um, it's uh, yeah. similar as far as an adaptogen. It has a ton of things that it helps with. Everything from aging and allergies to arthritis, bacterial, cancer. Uh, th this one helps with diabetes and hypertension as well. It also acts like a statin. So this one also helps with um, cholesterol and decreasing cholesterol. Um, this one's a little odd. This one not only has um, brain protection, but also vascular effects, and it also helps with eyes. Yeah, pretty crazy. I heard, I saw some research on it that it it has a weird side effect, which is actually a pretty good one of increasing retinal pigment, so it can help with your night vision a little bit. Just in a rabbit study, but I, I mean, if it if that happens with people too, I mean, yeah, night vision, possibly, who knows, but. Pretty cool little side effect there. Wouldn't mind that. So, yeah. And another thing about all of these ingredients is, you know, if you're taking them on um, in any other type of supplement, um, in a capsule form or tablet form, you're not getting you're not getting the uh, absorption. You know, bioavailability of uh, let's see, Rod Rodilia rosea. Some people just take that ingredient. You know, getting that at a you know Whole Foods or I don't even know where, but you know, paying a lot of money for this and maybe getting, uh, we found that it was 32% absorption, but probably maybe at most 20% absorption. Uh, his spirit in two, less than 25% absorption on a good day. So with our product, you're getting, <laughs> you're getting 80 to 100 percent absorption of these ingredients. So that's the biggest part of it. So can you go a little bit more? In, yeah, we'll mention a little bit more of why. Um, you know, having all these products together in uh, this delivery system that we have, you know, 
uh, liposomal delivery. We can go over that a little bit more too. Yeah, so yeah. liposomal delivery, it, it just creates kind of like a cell wall around it. It's a phospholipid bilayer, so it creates this little bubble. Basically a fat bubble. Fat Nano, bubble, it has the, the ingredients on the inside. And it's and all then, vegan, sunflower, sunflower oil. Mm -hmm. from, yeah, and then sunflower once oil. they get, once it goes into the body, it doesn't get degraded by the stomach or the stomach acid. And then all the stuff just kind of gets pushed into the other cell. And that cell wall that you just created from the, the liposome becomes part of the cell wall of the product of, the, of your body. So you're actually replacing your own potentially degraded cell walls with mm -hmm. Our product. Yep. So, um, yeah, repairing your cells. Pretty amazing. So, let's see if we have, that's pretty much all that we had prepared. So, let me see if we have any questions on here. Let's see. All right. Hi, everybody. Let's see. Hi, Patrick. Hi, Justina. Hi, Julie. Thanks for coming on. Uh, hi, Asher. There's one question at the bottom. There is. Okay, let's see. Are lipids great for your health all by themselves? That's a great question. Thanks, Patrick. Uh, yes, so the phospholipids or the phosphatidylcholine, um, it's basically what makes up our cell walls. So even if it didn't have any of these amazing ingredients that we just talked about, it's really regenerating our cells and replacing <coughs> our cell walls um, uh, in a healthy way. So absolutely. Great question. All right. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for jumping on. And I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday evening. It's still light outside, so pretty nice for the fall. Um, I hope you have, have a great night. Bye. Bye. <laughs>